On June 28, 2025, an ice smashed through every German speed barrier, hitting 405 km per hour and leaving even seasoned engineers in disbelief. Ice has traveled faster than ever before, declared Dr. Philip Nagel. But beneath this triumph lurks a crisis German rail can't ignore. The backbone of Europe's fastest trains is crumbling. Over 30 years old, overdue for retirement, and DB's billion euro hunt for a replacement ended with zero takers. With record passenger crowds, stricter climate rules, and no new train in sight, how can Siemens possibly deliver something radical enough to replace the IC? This is Siemens' plan to do exactly that. And what happens next could upend the future of high-speed rail. A single morning in late June shattered every assumption about what German railways could handle. At precisely 10.08 a.m., an experimental ICES train, fitted with a Velaro Novo test car, rocketed down the Erfurt to Leipzig slash Halle line. The speed display ticked past 350, then 380, then 400 kilometers per hour. When the sensors finally logged 405 kilometers per hour, engineers in the control center erupted. This wasn't a closed test track or a laboratory simulation. The record was set on real high-speed infrastructure, the same rails that carry passengers every day. Dr. Philip Nagel, CEO of DB InfraGeo, summed up the moment. ICE has traveled faster than ever before, confirms high performance of infrastructure. The achievement didn't come easy. Five minutes before the run, a vibration alert forced engineers to scramble. A drone zipped over the right of way, confirming the track could withstand the stress. Only after a rapid inspection did the green light flash. Every system, pantograph, catenary, brakes, even the slab track, held up under the strain. Instrumentation teams collected a flood of data. Wheel rail forces, aerodynamic pressure, acoustic readings, all within safety margins. The Velaro Novo car, lighter and more efficient than any ICE before it, proved it could handle extremes far beyond today's service speeds. This wasn't just about breaking a record, it was a wake-up call. The infrastructure is ready for a new era. The question now, is there a train bold enough to match it? 30 years ago, ICE, one trains, set a new standard for speed and comfort in Germany. Today, those same trains spend nearly a third of their time sidelined waiting for repairs that grow more expensive every year. Finding replacement parts has become a scavenger hunt. Obsolete electronics, aging H, VAC units, and worn-out brakes push annual maintenance costs for each ICE EOS 1 above 1.2 million euros. Even the newer IC3 fleet, introduced around the turn of the millennium, now faces rising bills and stricter safety mandates. By late 2024, keeping a single IC3 running cost Deutsche Bahn up to 1.1 million euros a year, with looming requirements for digital controls, fire safety, and accessibility upgrades that threaten to double those expenses. Regulations are closing in. EU rules demand quieter, cleaner, and more accessible trains by 2026. By 2028, any high-speed set that fails to meet new crashworthiness and digital safety standards loses its license to operate. For ICE-1, retrofitting to comply isn't just difficult, it's economically senseless. Parliamentary reports show that overhauling these aging giants would cost more than buying new trains outright. The pressure to modernize has never been higher. Passenger numbers keep climbing, but the old fleet can't keep up. In November 2024, Deutsche Bahn launched a 1 billion euro tender to secure the next generation of high-speed trains. Not a single manufacturer submitted a bid. The technical demands were ambitious. Modular interiors, unprecedented efficiency, cross-border compatibility, and the financial risks were steep. With no new trains on the horizon and the old ones running out of time, the gap between what Germany's rail network needs and what it can deliver is growing wider by the day. Siemens Velaro Novo isn't just another high-speed train, it's the result of an engineering rethink, validated by numbers that don't lie.
Its certified top speed is 360 km per hour, faster than any previous ICE in regular service. But here's the real leap. At those extreme speeds, the Novo uses 30% less energy than its predecessor. That's not a claim, it's been measured. Thousands of kilometers logged since 2018, with independent audits confirming the savings. The secret? A platform that's 15% lighter, thanks to new alloys and composites, and a relentless focus on efficiency in every subsystem. Siemens test teams have spent years pushing the Novo through mixed formation runs, collecting data from real-world German long-distance routes, not just lab tracks. The result is a train that delivers more with less, more speed, more space for passengers, less weight, and dramatically less energy use. Successful test runs clearly demonstrate the potential of our Velaro Novo, as Siemens Mobility put it. This is a platform engineered to outclass everything that came before. Inside Siemens Design Labs, a single idea changed everything. What if a train could be a blank canvas? Dr. Barbara Ryman, a senior engineer, championed the concept that became known as the empty tube. Instead of locking operators into one layout for decades, the Velaro Novo platform strips out permanent fixtures. Every seat, lounge, or workspace can be swapped or rearranged, even overnight. Need a seven-car, 202-meter express for business travelers on Monday? Done. By Friday, the same train can stretch to 14 cars and 404 meters, ready to move over a thousand commuters. Modular coupling and dual system power mean these trains can adapt to almost any route or demand. The interior isn't just flexible at delivery. It's designed to be reimagined again and again, responding to new passenger needs or service models. For the first time, a high-speed train becomes as customizable as a smartphone app. The empty tube turns rolling stock into a living platform, future-proofed for whatever comes next. At top speed, every detail of the Velaro Novo's design goes to work. Covered bogies. Those streamlined enclosures around the wheels cut turbulence so efficiently that energy use drops by 15% compared to exposed assemblies. The end cars aren't just sculpted for looks. Their shape trims aerodynamic drag by another 10%. Roof-mounted high-voltage gear, once a magnet for wind resistance, now sits hidden beneath smooth fairings. Even the gangway connectors between cars are flush, merging seamlessly into the body shell. The result? Less noise, less wasted power, and a quieter ride for everyone on board. But the numbers don't stop at the wind tunnel. A full train set, running at 300 km per hour, saves about 1,375 tons of CO2 every year, enough to offset the annual emissions of a small town's cars. Power systems range from 4,700 to 8,000 kilowatts, giving the train both the muscle for rapid acceleration and the efficiency for long-haul sprints. Behind the scenes, a network of sensors tracks vibration, wear, and component health in real time. Maintenance engineers use this data to predict issues before they cause delays, keeping trains running smoothly and maximizing every watt of energy saved. Brightline West is betting billions that America is finally ready for true high-speed rail. In 2024, the company signed a contract for 10 Velaro Novo train sets customized as the American Pioneer 220, destined for the Las Vegas to Los Angeles corridor. Delivery is set for 2028. This isn't just a copy and paste of European technology. Each train is being built to meet the Federal Railroad Administration's strict Tier 3 crash standards, a hurdle that stumped earlier projects. James Foster, Brightline's technical director, staked his career convincing regulators that Siemens' platform could be adapted for U.S. safety, accessibility, and signaling rules. Private capital is now backing the world's first 360 km per hour trains on American soil. If this gamble pays off, it won't just change travel in the West. It will prove that high-speed rail, once thought impossible in the U.S., is finally within reach. Europe's high-speed ambitions are entering uncharted territory. With the Velaro Novo, 
Siemens has built not just a faster train, but a foundation for the next generation, what Deutsche Bahn is already calling ICA5. Plans are underway to bring these trains into service in the early 2030s, setting the stage for commercial operations at 360 km per hour and beyond. The 405 km per hour test proved the rails and rolling stock are ready for more. Now, Siemens is expanding manufacturing capacity across Germany and Europe, preparing to deliver the volume needed for a continent-wide fleet renewal. Policymakers and engineers are aligning on a single vision, a pan-European network where 400 km per hour travel is not just possible, but standard. The Novo isn't just a new train, it's the launchpad for Europe's leap into the next era of high-speed rail. On June 28, 2025, an icy train equipped with Velaro Novo technology reached 405 km per hour, setting a new benchmark for German high-speed rail. This record confirmed the capabilities of both the railway infrastructure and Siemens' fourth-generation platform. Yet, the urgency behind this achievement is clear. With the ICE-1 fleet now over 30 years old and the ICE-3, nearing the end of its life cycle, Deutsche Bahn's 1 billion euro tender for replacements failed to attract any bids in 2024. Siemens Velaro Novo addresses these challenges with certified 360 km per hour speeds, up to 30% less energy use, and 1,375 tons of CO2 savings per train each year. Despite these advances, key decisions, such as the final IC5 fleet configuration and deployment schedule, remain undisclosed. As passenger demand rises and climate goals tighten, the facts point to a rail industry at a turning point. As Dr. Philip Nagel stated, ICE has traveled faster than ever before, but the next era will be defined by how quickly these innovations move from test tracks to daily service.